Alright guys, so first official day here in South Korea, Seoul, South Korea. We're gonna go get food first to start the day. Probably get some iced coffee at 7-Eleven. So nice just to be waking up in a new country. We had an amazing night last night. How you feel, baby? I feel very well rested because our hotel room is just so cozy yeah. and the beds are so comfortable. Yeah, let's go find some breakfast. Honestly, we don't even know where to go yet. We're, we're just walking. It. Yeah, we're just winging it, walking around and yeah, let's get some food and start the day in Seoul, South Korea. Let's go. So I think we're gonna start it off with some iced coffee. Yes. We honestly just found this randomly on the side of the road. It's called Mammoth Express. So even though we had a good sleep, we need some caffeine in us. Yeah, and their drinks look very intriguing. They have a lot of choices and they all look so delicious. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. 3,000 won, 4,000 won, so around $4. Mm -hmm. And Americano is only 900. So it's like a dollar. Yeah. Yeah, so let's so go in about? there and get some iced coffee and then get some food after. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many choices. I'm gonna get me a green tea shot latte because I've never had that before. We got three drinks. How much was yours? Yours was around 3,000 won. Mine was 4,000 won and Anne was 3,000 won. So around $10. Pretty good. For three coffee. Not bad, not bad. Hopefully it's good. First official day in South Korea. Let's go. Cheers. Everyone got their coffee. How's yours, babe? It's really good. I had to sub out the condensed milk for soy milk, but it's really, really good. I'm glad they had that option though, huh? Yeah. But mine, honestly, is one of the best matcha iced coffee I've had in a very long time. It's so good. How about yours, bro? I got the Vietnamese iced coffee. How is it? It's strong, but it's really good. Yeah, mine's, you want to try mine? Here, try mine, babe. You like matcha as well, so. Oh, I'm gonna be awake all day. How's that? Oh, that's really good. That's good, huh? Mammoth coffee. Check it out, guys. about it is that it's only a few minutes walk from Stas Hotel which we're staying at right now. We're here to look for brunch. There's a lot more selections here I feel like. Super busy actually. Yeah it's but, quite busy. It? It's a Thursday. It's a Thursday morning. Yeah. If you've seen the previous vlog then you know that we were here last night. We ate here for dinner. <laughs> cute. A few moments later. Is there a celebrity? <laughs> oh, look, look, they're Korean. 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 Uh, hello. 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 Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, they're so all so friendly. Oh, my God. Hello. 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 Nice to meet you. Hello. Hello. Whoa. Oh my gosh, what's going on right now? Bye guys! <laughs> okay, so what just happened? Um, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> they're all so friendly, it's like a bunch of kids, I think they're on break or something. But they're like YouTuber? YouTuber? That was funny. That was funny. This, now we're trying to look for brunch still. There's yeah. just so many selections. We don't know what to get. I know, there's so many. Yeah. Most of them we obviously don't understand. Mm -hmm. But they do have pictures. We didn't do much research on food prior to coming here. We just expected everything to be good, obviously. Yeah. Here in Seoul. But there's so, so many options. Yeah. You don't really need to do your research. Just go walk around yeah. and pick which one you like. Because so far, like, we've just been winging it and so far it's Everything's been good. Yeah, yeah. It's so, we went in a random restaurant because the food looks good. 
but unfortunately the language barrier was kind of tough so we couldn't really order yeah they no? don't have um, they didn't have a menu with pictures on it just yeah a menu with words yeah and they didn't have an english menu so it was really hard to uh order anything yeah it's just a language barrier yeah. sometimes but we're still walking looking for food a few minutes later okay, so after 15 minutes of walking some more i think we finally found the restaurant we're gonna eat at i'm not sure the name of the restaurant but uh the pictures look very intriguing so we're gonna just try it out right now this place looks like a local place and this place has been operating since 1980 yeah. man it looks really good the food is so cheap mm -hmm. and from what we see so far like from other people that are eating it looks amazing yeah. like local food that I got yeah so we're quite excited to eat here actually <laughs> I'm glad we found it yeah we we're you know? just walking around Myeongdong walking street and we walked into one of the alleys and then we just found this place yeah First so impression of Seoul so far, babe. Very live. Yeah. It's a really nice vibe. It's our vibe. Yeah. 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 We love it so far. Mm -hmm. And it's just our first day too. Mm -hmm. The food is just, we love Korean food. So yeah. to be here right now is just, it's crazy, man. Yeah. Not taking anything for granted. We're going to try all the food <laughs> and we're bringing you guys with us. So make sure to subscribe because there's going to be lots of Korean vlogs coming your way. Yeah, lots of food vlogs. Lots of food vlogs, 100% <laughs> for sure. So we're finally seated. That took like five minutes long. Let's see what they have. Let's eat guys, let's go! So they do have their Korean staple food like tteokbokki and bibimbap. They have bibimbap as well. So if you come here, they'll have all this Korean staple food. Alright, so our food's finally here. Oh, it's, they all look amazing. Mm -hmm. Very local dish. What'd you get, baby? Uh, so I just got the udon. Yeah, so I got their best seller, which is the spicy chewy noodles. Mm -hmm. And also, we're gonna be sharing the bibimbap, because why not, right? <laughs> we got the Korean staple. What'd you get, Jewel? Hey guys, so I got the pork cutlet, because it actually looked really good. And it I'm, does uh, look good, though. Yeah, I'm a big fan of just like fried things. Yeah, yeah it looks good. Alright, so let's see. The food it was delicious. So we just finished lunch or brunch. Mm -hmm. It was delicious. What did you think of it? I thought it was a very hearty meal. Yeah, so where are we heading to now, baby? So now we are headed to Bukchon Hanok Village. It's basically a Korean traditional village here in Seoul. It's also a very popular tourist attraction. So Hanok Village is a 600-year-old urban environment. We're quite excited to see it, mm -hmm. see the traditional houses of South Korea. It's only a 10-minute taxi ride from Myeongdong walking street. So yes. we're going to head there right now. Let's go find a taxi. Let's go. We are waiting for a taxi now. You're probably wondering why not take the MRT or the bus. Taxi is actually quite affordable in Korea, so save us a lot of time. We're gonna go get a taxi instead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Good.
we are finally here at Hanok village it only took like 10 minutes and like we said the taxi here is quite cheap for the three of us we paid six dollars so two dollar each guys so, super affordable yeah mm -hmm. so unfortunately though um the language barrier was still difficult still difficult he actually didn't really understand where we were going mm -hmm. even though we were showing him what place it was keep that in mind that the language barrier is there luckily though we have kakao maps we downloaded it on our phone it's basically google maps but here in korea just to let you know google maps yeah. doesn't work in yeah, korea it's, a, it's not it accurate so yeah. make sure to download kakao maps and another thing that really saved us today was pocket wi-fi yes. so we actually have pocket wi-fi for the three of us we got Oh. <laughs> so we actually got this from Travel Recommends. I'll put their link uh, right here if you guys want to purchase pocket Wi-Fi while you're traveling. So in South Korea, pocket Wi-Fi from Travel Recommends is 350 pesos a day, which is yeah. unlimited Wi-Fi wi -Fi. for however many people. I think it's max five people. This has so, helped us so much. Yes, so we have Wi-Fi everywhere that we go. But anyways, we're here now, so let's go explore the village. Tada, let's go. found this like fortune telling machine right here, vending machine. So you pull like 1,001, so basically one dollar and it gives a it's like pop. A, it's like a fortune teller. Yeah. But this lady came by and she said um, it's only in Korean. So I'm gonna try and I'll figure this out once we get back to the hotel. Yeah, so this is Jules' fortune right here. <laughs> yeah. But it's all in Korean. It's really long, but it was, it's a good experience. walking for 20-25 minutes now mm -hmm. this place is really cool yeah to see like the Korean traditional houses is just amazing yeah. and first impression it's beautiful it's beautiful yeah the architecture and how it's made it's just something else that mm -hmm. we've never seen before in our travels yeah. no that's mm -hmm. why we're here to see these things so make sure you check out Hanok Village. One thing to note when you're here at Hanok Village is locals actually live here. So it's important to keep your voices low because, you know, people are inside their houses. And from what I've read online, a lot of locals in the past have complained about tourists being very loud. So just be mindful and respectful of the neighborhood. So nice. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's yeah. surreal because you only see these like in movies and it's, stuff. It's so cool. One thing to note as well that it is free to come here and roam and walk around. So, really nice. Alright guys, so we are basically done with Hanok Village. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend that you guys visit this place if you're ever in South Korea. Yeah. This place is beautiful. You get mm -hmm. to see traditional houses of South Korea. So highly recommend it. Yes. So at this very moment, we are gonna walk to... Uh, we are gonna walk to Changdeo Palace, another mm -hmm. tourist attraction here in Seoul. Next stop, Shandok Palace. Let's go. The streets here is so vibrant, like it's so colorful. No, babe? Yeah. And what I noticed is uh, Koreans just have the best skin. <laughs> every That's the one thing we've noticed. Yeah, every person that's walked by just has... Like mesmerized by yeah, their skin. Yeah, like beautiful skin. Come on, what do you, it's, what's in the Korea air? If 
you're ever visiting Hanok village and are planning to visit Shandok Palace right after, we do recommend walking it and using Kakao Maps. Kakao Maps. It's super accurate. More accurate than Google Maps. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And honestly, the walk from Hanok Village to Shandok Palace is super scenic, so you won't regret walking there. It's only a 20 minute walk, so not too bad. 20 minutes later, we finally made it to Changgyeok Palace. I think we have to buy tickets to enter the palace, yes. right babe? Mm -hmm. Do you know how much it is exactly? Uh, from my understanding, it is $3 per person, so yeah. not too bad. I mm -hmm. highly recommend you still visit because if you come to Seoul, obviously you want to experience the palaces and, yeah. and you know, the homes and temples. Part of the experience here in Seoul, so yeah. highly recommend. Yeah, well let's go get our tickets and we'll update you on the price. <laughs> Okay, so we just got our ticket. It was $3 per person, so we were right. Yeah, let's go enter now and see this beautiful palace. Let's go. So we are at the entrance now. Look at this thing. Even the entrance looks majestic. It's so beautiful here. Oh my goodness. Anyways, let's go inside now and explore and see the temple or the palace. Come on. We are inside the palace now and first impression this place is so clean yeah. but honestly Korea itself is just so clean mm -hmm. look at this place yeah beautiful trees yeah. <laughs> look at the trees wow that's beautiful in here yeah. my goodness and the, the leaves are about to turn yellow and red because yeah. it's their autumn season yeah so it's really nice to see oh my gosh guys check this out This place is huge. Mm -hmm. It's crazy because this palace was actually built in 1405. Crazy. That's crazy. It's so old. Mm -hmm. And this place is actually a world heritage site in Seoul. So that's pretty, that's a big deal as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. I wasn't expecting it to be like huge in here. So you can wow. actually walk around and just take in the place. At first, I thought it was just like what entrance the? ticket to um, just to see the palace. But yeah. you can actually walk around and just enjoy like the nature and stuff. It's yeah. really nice. finally made it to the main palace mm -hmm. like guys look how beautiful and majestic this palace looks look at that it's huge when you come closer to it yeah like the video doesn't even do justice it's it's so big yeah. wow the architecture here is just it's so crazy like the traditional the details as well. yeah. kind of just like takes your breath away you know how beautiful it is because mm -hmm. we've never really seen anything like this before no it's very different. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go check out the inside now. You can peek through the windows, like what everyone else is doing. So let's go check it out, come on. So this temple you see right here is actually the main hall where the coronation of the king happens and also other grand ceremonies. So that's so cool and fascinating to know. Look at that thing. It is beautiful. Crazy, eh? Yo, since there's like nobody there, it's so quiet.
We are now done with the palace. Since we've been walking all day, we're actually kind of hungry now. It's been like four hours since our last meal. So right now we are walking and looking for food. It's starting to rain a little bit too. Yeah. So you guys can see it's a little cloudy now, um, but the weather's still perfect. Let's get food. All right, so it is now 4.30 p.m. It got dark quick and it started raining now. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get some food and we found this perfect place for the weather. Yeah, it's no? fall. It's fall, so some soup for this rainy weather. So let's go see if it's any good. Honestly, we just found it on the side of the road and the uh, aroma coming out of this place is just, mm, smells amazing. So let's go check it out. Quite cheap, as you guys can see. For Vip Pa, it's 6,001, so around $6. Quite cheap, around six to seven dollars. All right, so let's go check it out, guys. Let's go. All right, so we ordered now. Uh, what we've noticed from the restaurants we've been eating at so far is that they have self-serve kiosks, which is super convenient. You know? yeah. All you have to do is like pick what you want and then pay, and then they just bring it out for you. That's really cool. So yeah, what a tiring day, but it was awesome. I'm tired. I'm tired. That was an awesome first day mm -hmm. in Korea. This country is so beautiful. Yeah. And their food, also really beautiful <laughs> and delicious. This is your uh, beef pho. How come you mind? Okay, so it is now 5 p.m. and I think this is where we end the vlog now. Mm -hmm. First full day here in South Korea. We had an amazing day. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Make sure to subscribe because we have a lot of Korea vlogs coming your way. Yeah, we are here for two weeks. So that means a lot of food vlogs for sure and yeah. a lot of exploring. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And follow us on social media for daily updates. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace!